this kind of question looks ambiguous but if you know your laws of indices very well you'll be able to tackle it okay so let's start by discussing those laws of indices that we are going to apply here welcome back to my channel if this is the first time you are tuning in just stay tuned because you are going to enjoy the ride and if you are a returning viewer just know that you are highly welcome and just take the front seats okay all right um let's start the first thing we need to discuss here is let's start with the numerator okay um the law of indices states that when you have a to the power of x okay times a to the power of y times a to the power of z okay once they are the same base just pick one base and then add the powers x plus y plus z okay let's apply this law to the numerator okay um so we can rewrite the numerator as nine we are going to pick one base i'm <laughs> i'm trying to figure out how to use this board well so let's apply that to this for the numerator we are going to write we are going to pick one base which is nine and we are going to add all the powers nine plus nine plus nine okay divided by now for the denominator the denominator we have nine to the power of nine plus nine to the power of nine plus nine to the power of nine it's just like saying a plus a plus a okay and when you have something like this is what 3a just similar to saying like um say mango plus another mango plus another mango okay we should give you what three mangoes right so that means that this is same thing as three what nine to the power of nine okay is equal to nine to the power of x so this is nine to the power of nine times three will give us what 27 that is nine plus nine is 18 and 18 plus 9 is 27 over 3 to the power of what 9 3 times 9 to the power of 9 which is same thing as 9 which is equal to 9 to the power of x almost 9 9 9 9 9 <laughs> okay now let's continue we can decide to change them put them in the same base okay because this is exponential question and the best thing you can do for yourself when you have such a question is to try to put them in the same base so we can write this 9 as 3 to the power of 2 so we'll write that this same thing as 3 to the power of 2 raised to the power of 27 okay divided by 3 bracket 3 to the power of what 2 raised to the power of what nine okay all right is equal to nine m three to the power of two raised to the power of x if we solve this further anytime you have something like this you have two powers on a number you have to multiply the powers out according to the law of indices so we can write this as 3 raised to the power of 2 times 27. And 2 times 27 will give us 54 over. Then in this case, this is same thing as 3 times what? 3 raised to the power of 2 times 9 is 18. Okay? Is equal to 3. 2 times x is 2x okay now this is equal to 3 to the power of 54 divided by you need to be careful here <laughs> yes you have to but before that if this is the first time you're coming across this lovely channel it's time for you to hit on that subscription button and then click on the notification bell so that you'll be notified anytime i upload a new video okay then comment let me know what you feel about what i'm doing and give me another solution to this if you have any and especially i want to thank you those that normally drop different solutions to what i solve know that you are highly appreciated 
Okay, now recall what I said in the beginning that when you have the same base, you do what? You pick one base. Know that this same thing as 3 to the power of 1. Okay, so 1 plus 18 will give us 19 is equal to 3 to the power of what? 2x. Also, let's apply another law of indices here. And that law states that when you have a number in this form, that is, they have the same base and they are dividing, all you need to do is you subtract the powers. When multiplying, you add the powers. When dividing, you subtract the powers. So we can write this as 3 to the power of 54 minus 19 is equal to 3 to the power of 2x. So this same thing as 3 to the power of 54 minus 19 will give us um, 14 minus 9 is give us 5. And 3 minus 1 and 4 minus 1 will give us 3. So this 3 to the power of 35 is equal to 3 to the power of 2x. Once you have the same base, do what? You equate the powers. When you have the same base, you equate the powers. So we can write that 35 is equal to 2x. Okay. So we have that 35 is equal to 2x. Let's divide both sides of this equation by 2. And when we do that, we will have that what? X is equal to 35 over 2. Thank you so much for watching. You can watch another one, please. And have a nice day.